You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. We direct your attention that it is now time for Isha prayers. Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Ahmed bin Salman Lamsalam, has affirmed his strong support for joint GCC parliamentary action in order to enhance GCC countries' progress and prosperity. Addressing a coordination meeting of the GCC group ahead of the 146th Assembly of the Interparliamentary Union and related meetings to be hosted by the Kingdom on March the 11th to the 15th, the Speaker commended their efforts to support joint GCC parliamentary action. Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Salah Hassala headed the Kingdom's delegation to the GCC meeting. During the meeting, he praised the effective role played by the GCC Legislative Councils to enhance cooperation among member states, hailing their positive presence at various regional and global parliamentary gatherings. Speaker of the Representative Council Ahmed bin Salman al Salam inaugurated the coordination meeting of the Arab Geopolitical Group on the sidelines of the 146th General Assembly of the Interparliamentary Union. al Salam stressed that adopting unified positions towards issues and topics of interest to Arab countries is a major reflection of the role played by parliaments and legislative assemblies praising the distinguished bids made by heads and representatives of parliaments and legislative assemblies to deepen the efforts of Arab parliaments. The delegation of the Parliamentary Division of the Kingdom of Bahrain also participated in the coordination meeting of the Islamic Parliamentary Group and the Interparliamentary Union. The delegation of the Parliamentary Division affirmed the keenness and interest of the Kingdom of Bahrain in adopting and supporting unified positions on issues of common interest to the Islamic Group in a way that enhances the efforts of the parliaments of Islamic countries in supporting various issues, directions and opinions that serve the Islamic world and defend its issues. They referred to the active role of the parliaments of Islamic countries in discussing various issues that emerge emergency topics that reflect Arab and Islamic solidarity, as well as coordinating efforts aimed at strengthening bonds of interdependence, rejecting hatred, and criminalizing contempt for religions. On the sidelines of the 146th General Assembly of the Interparliamentary Union, the Parliamentary Division Delegation of the Kingdom of Bahrain stressed the importance of holding regional parliamentary meetings and forums that raise current issues and topics of common interest, in a way that unifies the positions and directions of brotherly and friendly countries. The delegation referred to the significant and growing contributions of the parliaments in supporting the diplomatic efforts made by governments in order to achieve positive results in the various security, political, economic and human rights development fields. Delegation of the Parliamentary Division explained the importance of building and developing positive relations and joint work between the various parliaments, noting the issues discussed by the Asian parliaments and the various visions and directions they contain, which in turn enrich the discussion held at the international level and contribute to strengthening the objective language of dialogue. On the sidelines of the 146th Assembly of the Interparliamentary Union, the Parliamentarian Women Forum was commenced with a wide participation of parliamentarians from legislative councils of several countries. IPU President Duarte Pacheo delivered a speech in which he expressed confidence in the success of the meeting, hailing the efforts exerted by the Kingdom of Bahrain in hosting the 146th Assembly of the Interparliamentary Union. Pacheo affirmed that the slogan of the IPU states, Democracy for All, and called to reinforce the participation of women and political work. On behalf of the Speaker of the Representative Council, the first Deputy Chairman of the Shura Council, Head of the National Committee for the Meetings of the General Assembly, Jamal Mohammed Fakhro, delivered a speech during the opening of the Parliamentarian Women Forum. Fakhro underlined the importance of the forum, which discusses important topics related to gender equality and the leading role of women in societies. He affirmed that gender equality is a fundamental pillar for sustainable development, peace and democracy. He expressed pride in His Majesty's approach, which emphasizes the role of women in the development march and exhibited Bahrain's efforts in achieving gender equality by adopting laws and legislations that contribute to elevating women's status and enhancing their progress. The General Assembly of the Interparliamentary Union discusses issues of combating intolerance in addition to the reports of the Office of the Permanent Committee on Democracy and Human Rights, the Middle East Affairs Committee and the Human Rights Committee of Parliamentarians. The General Assembly will also discuss the reports of the Bureau of the Standing Committee on Peace and International Security. The issues of peace and international security and the topics of the Standing Committee for Democracy and Human Rights will be on the table of the General Assembly meetings in the coming days. The meeting will also discuss the parliamentary role in combating misinformation and electronic content, calling for hatred and discrimination in addition to completing the meetings of the committee for promoting respect for international humanitarian law and the Human Rights Committee of the Interparliamentary Union. 
The Minister of Municipal Affairs and Agriculture, Wa'al bin Nasser Lambarak, affirmed that the establishment of the Bahrain International Garden Exhibition reflects the keen desire of the Kingdom of Bahrain to provide an integrated structure of services to citizens and residents. The minister pointed out the importance of the Bahrain International Garden Show in developing parks and public facilities in the kingdom and exchanging ideas, expertise in this forum. The minister inaugurated at the ministry's pavilion the Bahrain Gardens application, which is considered a platform for all parks that enables community members and visitors to learn about the parks and their locations. While Lambarak explained that the idea of the Bahrain Gardens application is based on the existence of a database of all Bahrain's parks available to all when there is a need to search for any information about these parks in terms of their location and facilities, in addition to displaying pictures of the parks on the site. The Minister of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture has completed all necessary preparations to ensure the availability of sufficient quantities of live animals and meat for the holy month of Ramadan. The Agriculture and Marine Resources Agency revealed that the capacity of veterinary quarry in the Buri region has increased to 9,500 live animals, which is greatly reflected in the increase in the stock of livestock in the markets in order to keep in pace with the increasing demand for importing livestock to the kingdom in preparation for the month of Ramadan. The total live cows sheep important for the holy month of Ramadan reached 11,611 sheep, cows and camels, while the quantities of red meat, chilled and frozen, reached about 2,569 tons and poultry, chilled and frozen, amounted to 5,770. Saudi Foreign Minister Prince Faisal bin Farhan met with his French counterpart Catherine Colonna during his official visit to Paris. The meeting reviewed ways to enhance bilateral relations between the two friendly countries and means to reinforce and develop it across various fields, in addition to discussing consolidating coordination in several regional and international issues of common interest. The two sides also discussed the latest developments in the international arena and ways to continue the efforts of the Kingdom and France in laying the foundations for international peace and security. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is celebrating for the first time its Flag Day to commemorate and honor the rich history of Saudi Arabian flag, which extends over three decades and embodies the unity and sovereignty of the Kingdom. March 11th has been declared as Flag Day, the date on which King Abdul Aziz Al Saud approved the flag in its current form as a slogan for the country and a symbol of the values of monotheism and justice. Marking Flag Day, the streets of Riyadh and various other cities and regions were decorated with green flags, and many ministries and official bodies organized events and activities activities. The UAE Minister of Industry and Advanced Technology Special Envoy for Climate Change and COP28 UAE President-designate Dr. Sultan bin Ahmed al jabbar concluded his visit to the United States by meeting UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres and holding close consultations with other key climate stakeholders at the UN. During his meeting with the Secretary General, Dr. al jabbar underscored the UAE's commitment to deepening cooperation with the UN on climate action ahead of the 28th Conference of the Parties to the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change, COP28, which will take place in Dubai from the 30th of November to the 12th of December. For his part, Guterres expressed his deep appreciation for the cooperation of the UAE's COP presidency and accepted the president-designate's invitation to attend COP28 in the UAE.